Okay, uh, I've already flipped over a few of these. I'm going to flip the rest of them, show you what I got going on. I have cooked these wings. They've been on for one hour at 275. You can see they got really nice color to them. And they're just, just really looking good. So what I'm doing, I'm flipping the rest of them. I'm trying to make sure I get them laying here where there's a little air flow around them all. smoke tube is still going strong. I got my mesquite wood. It'll probably smoke for another, may not smoke for another hour, but it'll be close. But they got plenty of smoke on them. I'm not worried about having, running out of smoke. But once I flip all of these, this is exactly 80 wings. That's about the maximum you can put on this Rectech 1250 on one layer. Now, I've, this smoker also has an upper griddle I can put on here. But I just find it's easier, depending on how many I'm doing. I'm doing more than 80, I gotta put it on. But it's a little tricky sometimes to get back in there and flip them. Uh, the smoke is really rolling off of here. But these are really coming out good. I, I don't even temp check these things. I've gotten to where I know that they're gonna, they're gonna come to 160, 165, but that is not enough. Wings at 165 taste rubbery. They're technically done, but they don't break down enough. So I cook these at 275 for right at two, a little over two hours, and they will get up to about, uh, oh, they'll get up somewhere around 180, and some of them may bump 200 degrees, but that's not, it's, they're still juicy and tender. They're not dried out. These things still got a lot of moisture in them. So I've just got to flip these last few. Like I said, 80 is a full batch on this thing. You really can't get any more on that one layer. I had to move my smoke tube to the back, and it's actually burning a little faster than normal. Because normally I put the smoke tube on this end down here and it doesn't burn as fast, but it's getting a lot of airflow back where it is over there, so it's, it's actually smoking pretty fast. Okay, I've got them all flipped over. I'm using, a friend of mine bought me this Heinz 57 infused honey with black truffle, and so I have been using this this past week uh, on some chicken, and it's, I really like it. So these are gonna have, a, these have got the Rectech uh, screaming pig rub on them and then what I'm gonna do is just squirt some of this honey drizzle it over them and I'll rub it around just a little bit but I can just drizzle this pretty heavy and this is gonna give this chicken a really nice little sweet taste so this is gonna be kind of a sweet with a little bit of bite to it but not extremely bad it's not they're not super hot that on the pretty good. All I'm gonna do is make my brush wet with honey and just kind of baste them. I'm not worried about a, a particular how much I'm getting on here. I just want it to be coated pretty good. Because this is gonna glaze up really nice cooking this second half. You could probably just put a straight honey on here and be fine. Uh, this particular product has this black truffle in there. You can see that smoke is going crazy. So we're gonna get a good honey, sweet. On this. And then once I close this back up, the smoker's really going off right now because it's trying to, having this uh, lid open, it's trying to catch up. You always got to remember to keep them back past the edge. If you, if you get them over the edge right here, that air comes up and it really cooks those outside pieces too fast. So you got to be careful not to get them on there. I really like these little uh, brushes like this instead of a regular brush. Uh, 
they really clean up easy. They hold your sauce good. So I really like those. As you can see, we're getting nice color to them. That glaze will just make that color even nicer. So I think we've about got it all on there. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, like I said, smoke tube's going good. I may have another 30 minutes worth of smoking out of that, but by the time that quits smoking, and they've already got enough smoke in them anyway, first two hours is about all it's gonna take smoke. We're at 275 still. You can tell the the actual is 171 over here. So that's just like where I like to cook my wings on this Rectech. So I'll uh, add on to this little video as soon as I get them done, let you see how they come out.